Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about sample spaces and events. So I'll share my screen with you. Using set notation, write out the sample space for each of the following random experiments. A coin is tossed three times in a row. The observation is how the coin lands, head or tail, on each toss. Part B, a basketball player shoots three consecutive free throws. The observation is the result of each free throw, S for success, F for failure. Part C, a coin is tossed three times in a row. The observation, the number of times the coin comes up, tails. Part D, a basketball player shoots three consecutive free throws. The observation is the number of successes. So first one, coin is tossed three times in a row. The observation is how the coin lands, head or tail on each toss. So it can be H, H, H. That means each of the coin lands with head face up. And then H, H, T. That means first two lands on head face up, the next one on tail. It can be H, T, H. First one is on head, second one on tail. The last one, the third one, head. Or it could be THH, which means first one on tail, next one, on, next two are on head and head. Or it could be TTH, first two uh, land, lands up, land up with tail face up, the third one head face up. Or it could be THT, first one on tail face up, second one on head face up, third one on tail face up. Or it could be HTT, first one head face up, next two tail face up. Or the last one is T, T, T. All the three coins land on tail face up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. Okay. Next one, a basketball player shoots three consecutive free throws. The observation is the result of each free throw, S for success, F for failure. So it can be all three successes, SSS. It can be first two success, the last one failure. Next one will be SFS, first one success, second one failure, third one success. Or it could be failure, success, success. Or it could be failure, failure, and success. Or it could be FSF, first one failure, second one success, third one failure. Or it could be SFF, success, and then last two failure. Or it could be all three failures. So again, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible outcomes. Part C, a coin is tossed three times in a row. The observation is the number of times the coin comes up tails. Well, three times in a row. It can be all tails. So that's a three. It can be two tails. That's a two. It can be one tail. That's one. And it can be no tails. All the three times it comes up with head face up. So the outcomes are zero, one, two, three, where the numbers indicate the number of times the coin comes up tails. And a basketball player shoots three consecutive free throws. The observation is the number of successes. Well, if the basketball player is successful on three consecutive free throws, then it will be three, three successes. Or it could be two success, one failure. Or it could be one success, two failure. We're looking for the number of successes. And zero, no success in any of the three throws. So the outcomes are zero, one, two, three, where the numbers indicate the number of successes. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.